Hi, I'm Iris, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Choose the Kingdom. Yes, um, where I am extremely confused about anything and everything. Um, so I'm taking some free rockets with me. Hopefully if I hit the, the fan that won't I can pop it, will it? No, thank you. Here I go! Oh god. I don't want to hit the rocket. Please don't make me hit the rocket. Okay. Can we throw it? Why yep. somebody throw it? Okay, thank you. Good, because I didn't want it to- I didn't want to waste my rocket. Now we're doing some wacky shit with the rockets. I know there's like a. I see the option for like a hook thing. But. Oh, wait, come back here. Okay, now. <laughs> For the ruby, I guess. Oh no, there's. I guess that's when we were supposed to activate the hooks or some shit. <laughs> towards it. Is it... How the hell am I gonna get even higher? Oh. I never quite attached those bridges together, huh? <laughs> I was supposed to attach a... Well, no, how the hell would I have even gotten it to... Go up? I guess I was supposed to, like, attach a thing and then go up on, like, the platform to get up there. But even so, like, that... Getting up here... Doesn't help me at all. Or it didn't. Huh? I think I was supposed to do something with this shit. Um, right, I guess we have a lava thing. Wasn't there lava back here? No, there wasn't. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to attach the... Stasis back. Oh, wait. Here I go. Charge. 
close enough. Do I have to connect those two bridges together still, or are we... Just letting those be? I guess we are. You know what? Fuck it. I... I'm gonna auto-build a rocket platform. No! Fuck! I did it wrong! Fine. No! You- Where am I? I'll make another one. I can afford it. I've got the Bozo Knight. Cool. Yeah. So I'm not doing this shit. Now what? Unibo. Yeah, get over here. Actually, break this first. I guess the point is we can make a rocket platform to get back up here if we need to. Yay! That's all the locks, Link! The door should open now! Let's go see, Goro! Yay! Fuck this shit! That took me Oops. I almost thought I was gonna die. Um, yeah, that took me way too long to figure it out. Um, I want to go map and I would like to travel here because I am not- I, <laughs> I- I know that's like one of the- someone made like a clickbait title or whatever that's like, Tears of Kingdom wants you to break the rules. And that's true because it's like- Sometimes it tricks you into thinking you're doing Breath of the Wild stuff when you're not. Cause it's a, it's a different game. Like, same physics engine. The very, very basics are mostly the same. But then, you know, the rules are also meant to be broken now. So it gets a little confusing for people that are just so used to Breath of the Wild me. Even though, how many hours do I get in this game? I like 50 hours. 50, oh wait, this is the third, 53rd episode, so approximately 53 hours, but I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Yay. Huh? It opened! We gotta smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda! How do you propose we're gonna do that, bro? I don't think you can angle you up there, can we? Turn around fast enough. Marbled rock. Where's Zelda? I don't know, but that looks like a butthole. <gasps> That's really, really big. That looks like poop. That's what he said. That's really big. Oh god, I do not. <laughs> that crab? Yeah, um, 
I think. Okay. Goro! Let's aim you. Those legs are pretty big. Be careful, Goro! Well, that's one trying to. Help me. Watch out, Goro! It's gonna explode! Get back! Here it comes! Why can you do it? Sure! Goro! Oh, oh. Am I expected to climb up the thing? Let me eat, let me eat. I'm I'm not dying here, I'm gonna eat. I wish we could have walked away from that explosion all nice and cool and shit. Yay! Heart container! And then there's probably uh, Unibo's ancestor as well, probably. Mmm. Gummy. Let me chew on it. Om nom 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 nom. I want to eat it. Let me eat it. I promise they should let me, they should give me all the sacred stones. I promise I won't eat them. I can be trusted with them. Yay! How many hearts does that give us? One, two, three, four. I lost count. <laughs> four, five, six. I, let me, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten hearts! Yay! What the big sacred stone? I wanna eat it. 
<laughs> Is it gonna be orange for you or red for you? Oh, maybe it's red for you and then... Uh, or yellow. Uh, it's a warm color, maybe. <coughs> oh, yep, and we're gonna go into the past somehow. Lenovo, Little Rock. I've heard that voice. Oh, his name is Yunobo. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. That one looks yummy. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of our people. Ding. Many years ago, in the kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days, a great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Rauru trusted us with secret stones. And there's Zelda again. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was the imprisoning war. And then some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. So Zelda knows more than we and do. that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Yenovo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link.
So, it's my duty to help you fight? Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. Hell yeah. So, yeah, that one's the one that looks like fire. Oh, and it goes in the belt! Hell yeah! I am the Sage of Fire! I've got an awesome new power, Goro! your fist all oh, right hmm. oh we fist bumped you can count on the sage of fire i'll fight by your side till the very end thank you and take this it's proof i stand with you <laughs> i don't know why the fist bump makes me cry Gives our arm a little thingy. Oh, it's our thumb. I love it. Ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. Let's. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to spend any more time down to here. Unless we have to. Well, I saw those light roots around. Well, now we can hang out in the fiery parts of the depths now well no we need to get the um other we need at least one other piece of the armor set <laughs> all gone Do, 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 do. That sounded like Breath of the Wild. Yay! Everything's nice again. No more scamming. I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. I oughta. Please don't be mad, at President Yunobo. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things, after all. If I had just been more careful. <laughs> you had said you put Goron City back to normal, and you did! Oh. You're the hero of Goron City! You were when you made Yunobo Co., and you still are now! <sighs> I... I... Thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to thank you, too, Link. He got rid of the marbled rock roast, and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining might what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Ugh, <sighs> no. I can't even think about it. Ooh. Prince
Princess Zelda wasn't angry you ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward that giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Yonobu? Do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Ah. Like, maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Huh? No way! His little eye whites. Oh. Hang on. Come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said she wanted to help the swordsman Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. Mm. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. Huh. Whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. And she's sus! I'm sorry. I, the, the Among Us jokes, they're ingrained within me now. I can't, I can't get rid of them. And that imposter is making a bad name for our Princess Zelda. That's no good. Yep. We've got to find him and pummel him, Goro. I'll ask my guys at Yonobo Co. to search the area around the city to search for any leads on the princess. Oh. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. Ooh. You can count on me. Yay! Vow of Yonobo. Sage of Fire. Proof of the Vow of Yonobo. Sage of Fire. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Yonobo. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's not go digging up any more weird, weird rocks! You got that, President Yonobo? He's <laughs> just scratching his head. He's like, I'm sorry. Cool. Complete. Blizzard Lakes. I remembered something else about that other Zelda. When we were mining marbled rock roast on the north side of Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the lizard lakes, but she didn't say why. A bit surprised to hear the words lizard lakes coming out of your craw. Don't hear much, hear much, don't much hear about them lakes these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about him. One brother hunts with the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the lizard lakes are also called the lizard brothers. I searched high and low for them back in my younger years. Always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I'd forgotten all about my search for the lakes. <laughs> That's it. Talking about this is me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's a Unobo Co. dig site there too, so we can hop in a minecart and get cracking. Oh. Ah! My aching back. All right, I guess that's one of our side quests to do. Can I hop on this? Oh god, it's unbearable. Um, cool. We got so strange. The marble rock roast was just up and vanished. Sometimes the strangest things happen. But the sea is bustling again, and leaving the work at the end of that younger Goron means we've got time on our hands now. Maybe we should take a vacation, eh? Ooh, let's go somewhere we could really see the moon. I'm thinking about the place we were born, Trey. Remember how the full moon shone on the ground there? How could I forget? It's quite a sight. Going back there is a great idea. But what with the lava flows, the area of God has gotten confusing to navigate. I don't remember where it is. I'll follow you on this one, Vulcan. What? Oh, I was coming on you to remember how to get there, buddy. Full moon. <laughs> Eavesdropping, were ya? Gorons are born in the land, you see. Vulcan and I were born from the same place, so you could say we're rock brothers. Mm. We were born in a cave. But the full moon shone so brightly, lighting up the darkness of the cave. It was a mystical thing to see. Mm. I remember thinking it was weird that it was the middle of the day and not night. I was just a baby, but I still remember it. The only uh, thing I can recall is that somewhere at Lake Verona in Elden Canyon, but that's it. Whoa. My memory's all fuzzy. Vulcan, can you remember anything else? Uh, that's whoa. no use. Nothing is bringing it to mind. Maybe if I could see a picture or something that shows the, that full moon shining on the ground. Maybe I'll just stare at a map until I remember, or something. Where was it now? Moon gazing Gorons. 
I wish I could. Oh, I want to see the profile. A longtime ally of Lynx who inherited a secret stone and awakened as a sage of fire. Shamed by his part in the uproar over marbled rock roast, he is eager to use the Nobo Co to help Gorons and restore the trust of his supporters. Oh, good. Cool, he doesn't have the mask anymore and it got updated. That's really cool that they update the character profiles over time. It's, it's just really cool. I just, I love this game so much. I love the amount of detail that goes into it. Wait, how come my rock is different? Oh, it's not, um, luminous anymore. Okay, um, I guess I'll go back to my spiny bone club. Clothing, or er, rest this way. Oh. Welcome to the clothing shop. Wait, wait, no, I mean the inn. Oh yeah. no, I did it again. You see, I used to work at a clothing shop, so I still get mixed up. The previous innkeep Trey is retiring, and I've taken on the business. But if I can't even remember what kind of shop I'm running, I've got a long way to go. Mm. Well, do a good job. Eventually, I made a promise to Trey. That's why, sir, I'd like, I'd like you to be my first customer. I give a killer massage too. You won't regret it. All right. A bet will cost you twenty rupees. You want to throw in a Goron massage? I'll run you fifty rupees. Sure, I'll take it. A bed and massage, you got it. How long do you want to rest for? Morning? Enjoy your rest till morning! Alright, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. That really was a killer massage. Damn. Alright. Is Oh my god, it's a blood moon. Oh, the blood stained moon shines. I was like, what's taking so long? It's a blood moon. <laughs> Warning! Good rest and good massage, eh? He slept like a rock. I could hardly get you to wake up this morning. Come back any old time. Thanks. Well, free stamina wheel thing, I guess. I want it. Where was I now? I'm collecting all the side quests I can. This is clothing. That didn't do anything. Are these reduced price now? Nope. Hey. Yeah. Welcome. We're on sea is cool these days, but the caves are still piping hot. A little high and like you would get scorched. Fireproof elixir will lose its effect after some time. But you'll be A-OK -okay wearing the flame-resistant equipment we have here. Buy my stuff. Uh -huh. You know what? I'll sell these things. Oh. All of them? Uh -huh. So now I don't have to feel as guilty about selling oh. the... Oh. Uh. I don't know how to sell things that are sold in bulk. I don't oh. know if this will even give me everything. Uh, uh old uh. Her. Oh. Okay. What else can I sell? Um... I only have 489. I don't want to sell my diamonds because they're useful. And I need a bunch of my stuff. Oh, we have 81. We'll sell like half of these. Uh, 43? That's only 86 rupees. Um, we'll sell like 20 of these. That's not as close as I'd like. Damn. We're gonna have to grind a bunch more. If I wanted. Oh, we have 89 of these. Okay, um. 40. Okay. Oh, that's only. It only sells for one rupee. 
Kinox 2. Oh, we have 25 of these. We'll sell 14. Uh. Okay. 200 more rupees to go. Uh, 12. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Yay. Uh -huh. Should we buy the hat or the pants? Boots or hat? Oh, the we can only afford the boots. Oh. Okay. If you're gonna work in the caves, flame-resistant equipment would be useful for you. It's your lucky day. It's discounted right now. Uh -huh. You'll buy that. It will be one thousand two hundred rupees. Yes. Yay. Oh. Thank you. Yippee. Yay. And now we can buy diamonds here in the town, which is cool. Half off, don't miss out. That's still way too expensive for me. Oh, and you guys sell the things here in the town too? Nice. Uh, this is still a house. Um, we all sell these too. Oh, general store, great. I think I have cane sugar, right? Yeah, I have one. We have spice. Hello. Where are you? Tanko. Oh, you're, I've, I've, I've met you already then. Right now, now is where goods sold here. Wasn't there a... What's the... <laughs> There's a person that has the... Uh, that's clothes. Where's, is it up? It might be up. Right, because there's this whole other level to the village. One of ya has. Oh, man. Um. Weapon shit. Cabetta's diary? Who the fuck's Cabetta? My two brothers and I have started work at You Know Boko, which is really taking off. You Know Boko is a big company that's single handedly taking on mining in Elden. President Yunobo, who heads up the company, is all about making Goron smile. He wants to make travelers visiting Goron City smile too. So the three of us have important work to do. I'm going to do all I can to make President Yunobo proud. Today, President Yunobo is treating everyone to this new stuff called Marbled Rock Roast. But it's been kind of weird around here lately. He hasn't been himself since he started wearing that strange mask. Some of the others are acting funny too. But President Yunobo is being mighty generous, treating all of us to a fancy meal. Minecart land has opened. President Unobo told the three of us to make him smile big. Minecart land is making use of the southern mine that's been out of commission for a while now. The mineral market is nearby too, which will definitely make travelers smile from ear to ear. Oh, the minecart land is open now. Let's go. Cool. What the hell is the weapon store? It's it's in here, right? Let's look over here. I went in the wrong direction immediately. Oh, it might be the thing that looks like a parrot. Oh, I missed the fireproof lizard. My bad. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally use up my my special stamina that I got as a bonus. All that way for this. Hello. Oh. Oh, hey. You are you are here in Goron City for a bit of sightseeing too? If so, you've got some perfect timing. Up until recently, the Gorons were acting real weird. You could barely even hold a simple conversation with them. The second those strange red stones vanished, well, they came right to their senses. <laughs> Good news is, I can finally go looking for Simmerstone Springs, which is why I came here in the first place. Simmerstone Springs? Uh. Don't tell me you never heard of Simmerstone Springs. What? Really? Eh, I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I don't really know much about that place either. I just know there's a secret hot spring called Simmerstone Springs somewhere near Goron Spit City. Ah. But, well, I guess that what makes it a secret hot spring. Only those in the know know about it, you know? What I think I'm gonna do is try and talk to some hot spring buffs at the not secret hot springs, see if they know where it is. Hmm, I suppose Goron Hot Springs is a good place to start. Maybe I'll make, look it up on a map later. Okay, we've got that quest collected. Do you have a quest for me? Mystery City. Oh, I remember you. As a knock your socks off reporter, there's no mystery I can't solve. Hehe, <laughs> just gotta perfect my signature when the book comes out. 
I'm calling my book, Doma's Guide to the Unknown. The first part's a deep dive into the lost underground city of Gorondia. I'll leave no stone unturned. Ah. So what do you think, huh? Sounds pretty great, right? Bye. Ah. First off, you should probably try to find Goron and knows about Gorondia. Oh, well, um, I've been there, but okay. I work at the same newspaper you do, buddy. Oh wait, this is the leader, the president's house. Oh yeah, it is. Is that water? I wonder if this counts as a hot springs. Um, let's see. What the hell? Clock a clock a zoom. Good old hot springs. Oh yeah, y'all are in here. Wow. The young Gorons are back to work, and minecart land was completed safely. I think it's about time I retire and tour some hot springs. I suppose I'll start with Goron Hot Springs. Actually, maybe I'll go farther than that. Maybe I'll take a peek at Simmerstone Springs. Simmerstone Springs. <sighs> this is just what I heard from the elderly fellow who's a regular Goron Hot Springs. No, guy knows his stuff. He says Simmerstone is in a place called Gorkul Tunnel, which is farther south than Goron Hot Springs. But that area is expansive, so if you're going there, I recommend you ask him for specifics. Bye! The water here sure is nice. Nothing beats soaking in the morning light. You're correct. It is morning. Oh, hey! This is the, you guys are who I meant to talk to. Gah! Master Rohan, please let me try making the boulder breaker again. Got some gall, kid. After you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marbled rock roast, what's it? I'm done with you. I've got no excuses. I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker. First, let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good, then you could be done with me. Well, you've got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something. But without materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Since you spent all of our material funds on marble rock roasts, we're dried up. We don't have money or materials. Oh, I, I'll just, uh, do something about that. Oh, well, I was trying to be optimistic about the materials for the boulder breaker. I need a cobble crusher. I have those. Without any money, I have no idea how I'll come up with the materials. I'll give you the materials. What? You'll just give them to me? Thank you. I was at a total loss. This is a huge help. Might as well. You, you really have it all. Wah! Thank you. Now I can make a good and proper boulder breaker. Yeah. Master Rohan, watch me do this. I'm going to complete the boulder breaker, and it's going to be perfect. Huh? I'll put my heart into it. Pounded into life. Right, because we need the Zora spear and also. <laughs> Master, take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to touch it to know. That rocky luster, that well crafted angle handle, that blunt yet sturdy edge. You have done good, Fugo. I've seen many a boulder breaker in my time, but this, this is one of the finest. Uh, Thank you so much, Master. I've never gotten praise from you before. I kind of like it now. You had your head on crooked for a while, but you seem up to snuff now. Looks like there's nothing left I can teach you. From here on out, this forge is yours. Uh, Starting today, you'll be staying where I've stood for many a year. Uh, Master. And you! You helped too! Without the materials, I'd never have been able to do this. As thanks, I'd like for you to have this boulder breaker. Yay! This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron, Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made it made swing it, swinging it around look easy, but a high end would need an immense amount of strength. Oh. My customers are my top priority. That means you should come back here if it breaks on you. I don't need materials, but I'll make it again just as good as before. Yay! Now I need to get more diamonds. I put all I had into this. It's thanks to you that I handle this forge now, you know. Oh, and thanks for the materials. It's, I've already mastered forging or repairing the bo boulder breaker, so you know who to come to if it breaks on. Come to if it breaks on you. Bye. Yeah. I'm back again. Yay! Now we have a boulder breaker. I think I already took a picture of it. Demolisher. Nice. I probably shouldn't use it. I'll probably only. I don't want to use it for like breaking rocks. Now that Fugo has returned to a skilled craftsman, I can take some rest. This bolt, the boulder breaker, is the strongest weapon passed down among Gorons. It'll prove useful. If it ever breaks, you can come back and get Fugo to make you another. Cool. Let's 
So that's like the case for other, um, the other weapons. Wasn't there? Okay, y'all have the lizard legs. Hop off, don't miss out. Oh, this is... Have I already been here? I probably have. I don't remember what I have or haven't done anymore. Okay. Yay! We did it. I'm gonna do the shrine now. I'm traveling to the shrine. And we're gonna do the shrine puzzle thing, hopefully. Because I need to work on shrines. Sky Island meet. Some claim to have seen a sky island made of ore deposits that lights up the sky like a star at night. I want Marakuglik Shrine. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing! Oh yeah, there's the bones over there. We should go check those out. I have a lot I need to do. Wield wonders. Oh. Oh boy. Is this a bridge? Oh no, not the bridge again. Do I have anything else to mess with? Or... Oh, it's this side. That is the worst bridge I've ever made. How the hell do I get back up here? Oh. I thought the ladder would be on the left, the right, the, the side I was already on. I don't know why that scared me. Okay, we have a wheel. We have a really, really long bridge. do anything because I'm on it. Come back here. I'm supposed to attach it to the end of that and then make it move. No? It's attached to the wrong thing. Oh god, I'm in the pot. Use a hydrant, couldn't I? Yeah. Or I could just use a splash rope. <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit. Oh, wait, I don't need to use an arrow. I can just use a. 
Yeah, fuck this shit. I can't attach anymore. What the hell? Is there a limit to things or amount of things that are allowed to be attached? I can't. There's a limit. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'd rather have this be four. Because at least we won't fall into the lava that way. wants us to go up there, so I guess I'll put here and then put it down. And then it. Ah oh, shit, was I supposed to take it with me? Let me take it with me. Oh wait, was I supposed to ascend or was I just supposed to? I think I was supposed to ascend. Oh cool, there's another one. <laughs> cool, thank you. I have I not found a picture of these. Okay, just making sure. Oh well, I see that. Are those bombs? Construct bow. I already have plenty of good bows. What bow am I using actually? Oh, I'm using the royal bow. Oh, wait, it does more damage than the just bow. Oh. I might as well stick with the knight's bow for now then. Um. Okay. So, I guess. <laughs> this to be at the front of the thing because I think we're trying to get all those balls some balls okay. I have to handle it from the front otherwise it doesn't work oops How many of 
feels worse. I guess, oh, I had to like put a certain amount on there to, okay. All right, I guess that makes sense enough. Ugh. Yay! That was easy-ish, mostly. Light of blessing! Woohoo! Now we got two out of the four that we need to get another heart container stamina container. Stamina crystal? That's, that's not what that is. Yay! Yep! If you fuse a rocket to your shield and hold it up, you can make one high jump. Huh. Hold it. What do you mean hold it up like this? Huh. That's weird. Let's go over here real quick. Because I think this is a quest. What's this? Reminders for Hylian workers. The red substance that spouts from cracks in the ground is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Coming into contact with gloom drains your vitality. If you touch it, get away from it immediately and rest. Resting in the fresh air of the surface is recommended. Oh, wait. Oh, right, because we're out of the village now, so we can uh, use our Goron Sage. Unobos, Unobos vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Right, is this the chasm right here? Is it? No, the chasm is... No, we have this big chasm that's in the volcano, which we've been through before. Um, I thought there was another chasm. Oh, maybe it's just a warning about a gloom. Yeah, and then there's the two lakes, and then there's... The Skull Lake has a chasm in there. Elden's Flank. Yeah, Death Mountain isn't lava-y anymore. Are those spots where there's gloom? No, because we've encountered gloom in other spots that haven't had, like, the red stuff on it, right? I need Minchie Woods. I want to go to the Lost Woods, but it doesn't let us go there. Okay, um... What the? Oh, that's the. Oh, is that the Rook? Aww. That's a little monument for the Rook. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Is that is that supposed to be a Novo? I don't know. I'll go. I want to go over there in a second. Well, actually. We only have like two more minutes, so we'll do this and then we'll end the episode. I shot first. Oh fuck, I need my rock hammer. Barrels. I don't want to use my good things because I. Well, actually, I should use a claymore of some sort. So I guess we'll go for dust claymore. <laughs> oh my god! My bad. Ah! He one hit me! Okay, never mind. We're ending, we're ending this now. We'll finish this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you take care of yourself. Get enough food, get enough water, get enough rest, and just be kind to yourself in general because you deserve it. Also, tell someone you love them because you may not know how much they need it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!